this morning, about 6.40, uh, Phoenix police received a call from residents in the area saying they saw a man walking around the area of 27th Avenue, uh, sorry, 27th Avenue in Osborne uh, carrying a rifle. Uh, Phoenix police quickly arrived on scene, established a perimeter. Uh, we were able to get the subject contained within that perimeter, uh, and they began a search. The search finally uh, located a gentleman who matched the description. He did have with him a pellet handgun and a replica rifle that uh, was not a real rifle. Uh, fortunately, nobody was hurt in this incident, and we have detained the person. Uh, what is really great about this is the officers worked very quickly to get the area contained. We got the school across the street on lockdown. Fortunately, this incident took place before students arrived at school this morning. And we also used our reverse 911 system to uh, alert residents in the area of what was going on and to stay in the house. So Phoenix police were able to keep everybody safe and quickly get this person in custody. There were no students in the school at the time? No, again, this, this happened about 6.40, so students had not yet arrived, and uh, schools put out notifications uh, as best they could to have their students avoid the area. Did this guy end up on the school property or not? No, he was never on the school property. He was actually in uh, walking around a vacant lot in some buildings uh, just south of Osborne and 27th Avenue. The, one of the calls said that it was a disgruntled employee. Do you know if that's the case, or is it just a random person at this point? No, at this point, uh, he's he's just a subject that lives in the area. Uh, he was not a disgruntled employee, uh, and police are still investigating uh, the reasons for him walking around with a replica rifle. Yeah, did he say anything to you guys about why he was doing that? Was he trying to create a stir or a scare, or is there something beyond it? No, at this point, uh, that's what our investigation is is going to look into to see what his reasoning was. But as of now, uh, he is being detained. What's in a There's a Taros mental health facility nearby or across the street. Any connection to that? Again, our investigation is going to uh, look into that. Uh, we don't know if this is a mental health issue. Uh, we don't know what the reasons are at this time. So uh, that's pretty much all we have. Okay, so you said south of Osmo. So are you saying it happened that way? Or was it this way? No, it's north of our location here, uh, generally uh, around the southwest corner. What kind of charges could he face? Uh, it's it's really hard to tell at this point. Um, we don't really have any criminal activity on him other than being kind of suspicious with walking around with a weapon. But we are going to be looking into that to find out what his intentions were. And if there are any applicable charges, we will let you know. Did he cooperate with police right away? He did, yes. He was very cooperative with police. Uh, and again, he was taken into custody without any uh, use of force or any incident with the Phoenix police. And his age? I, I don't have that information right now. About how many calls did you say he got this morning if he was walking around with what looked like a rifle? Uh, I know we received a couple, but as far as how many, how many calls exactly, we don't know. We did get on the situation pretty quick and get the reverse 911 going out. How quickly did you guys put that out? How many homes uh, received that 911 call, that I, reverse 911 call? Yeah, um, I don't know. We usually try to do it uh, within a specific area that we're having contained, uh, but I don't know the exact square miles on that. And the decision to put the schools on lockdown, that's just something you decided? Absol right Absolutely. I mean, our first priority is going to be the safety of the residents, the students, uh, anyone in the area. So if there is a school and we have a subject running around with a gun, we are going to put that, that school in lockdown. Any indication of what he said when approached by officers? Like, why are you carrying a rifle? What do you have on you? No, uh, in a situation like this, uh, we're not going to uh, be asking him too many questions. Our, our intent is to get him into custody very quickly, uh, which we did. And he, again, he was cooperative. Was he just walking around or was he swinging the rifle around? Was he pointing it? Was he saying anything or just? No, he was just walking in the area and, uh, and carrying this replica rifle. Is school going to resume today? Yes, the school is no longer on lockdown. Uh, the school has already advised all the parents that uh, students can return to school and resume their normal activities. So this guy necessarily may not have been doing anything wrong, right? Or wrong. Uh, necessarily no, uh, but again, our investigation is right. still still early and that's yet to be determined. So replica rifle, sorry, this is a dumb question, as in it can't hurt anyone? Correct. Right? And then pellet gun, right? And is a pellet handgun, okay. yes. That's about all we have. Right so it's not against the law to walk around with a replica weapon that looks like it could possibly harm someone. Uh, 
there's there's not a specific law about walking around with a weapon, uh, it, but it's going to be a matter of uh, what he is doing with that. With, he if he's with his intent, or if he's pointing it at somebody, if it's if he's pointing it at somebody, then we have a different issue, uh, whether it's a replica or not. Did any of the 911 callers indicate that he may have threatened them or, or pointed them? No, they did not. So that's what I'll wait. Sergeant, I missed the beginning of the interview.